Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be proving an inequality in two ways. We have a plus b plus c is equal to zero, and we are going to prove that ab plus ac plus bc is less than or equal to zero. So I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. Now my first method basically involves manipulating the given expression and I'll start by squaring it. Since we know that a plus b plus c is equal to zero, I'm going to square that and its square is also going to equal zero. When you expand this, you're going to get a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus two times the quantity ab plus ac plus bc. And we know that this is equal to zero. Now this is nice because we're trying to prove that AB plus AC plus BC is less than or equal to zero and we got that in our expression even though it's twice, that's perfectly fine. So we're going to proceed by using another inequality that's well known but in order to show you how that works, I'm going to quickly uh, prove that inequality. So we're going to start with something well known. Since A, B, C are real numbers, we do know that the sum of squares cannot be negative, right? So I can safely say that a minus b quantity squared plus a minus c quantity squared plus b minus c quantity squared is always going to be greater than or equal to zero, right? Okay. Now, if you go ahead and expand it, you're going to get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared plus a squared minus 2ac plus c squared plus b squared minus 2bc plus c squared is greater or equal to zero. And if you go ahead and um, put all the positive terms, keep them on the left hand side and everything that has a negative sign on the right hand side, you're going to get the following. 2a squared plus 2b squared plus 2c squared is going to be greater or equal to 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc. And if you divide both sides by 2, you're going to get the well-known inequality, which obviously can be proven in different ways. But this is the inequality we are going to use. So if you have three real numbers, you add their squares or you multiply them like two ways and add them up uh, and you're going to get uh, a larger so answer from the sum of the squares. Okay, so this is the inequality that I would like to use. That's why I just wanted to show you a quick proof. Now, let's go ahead and uh, take our expression, uh, the original one, which was uh, you know, uh, a squared plus b squared plus c squared is greater than or equal to this. So we know this inequality. Let's go ahead and add two times ab plus ac plus bc to both sides. All right? And see what happens. I'm going to add two times this on the left-hand side. And when I add it on the right-hand side, I'm going to get the same thing three times because I already have it once. So we're going to get the following. Now notice that the left hand side is a plus b plus c quantity squared. So we get another inequality from here, which again can be proven in different ways. So this becomes another identity. Now we do know that a plus b plus c is equal to zero. So from here we get a really nice result because we, we're trying to prove that a b plus a c plus b c is less than or equal to zero. And this shows us that three times a b plus a c plus bc is less than or equal to zero. If you divide both sides by three, you get the conclusion ab plus ac plus bc is less than or equal to zero, which is what we were trying to prove. So that ends the first method. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Now the second method is obviously different. So we're given that a plus b plus c is equal to zero, and we're supposed to prove that ab plus ac plus bc is less than or equal to Zero. So we need to show that this is true, given that a plus b plus c is equal to zero. All right. So this is what we're supposed to show. Now, how do I get there? Uh, I'm going to take this expression and isolate uh, my um, a by itself. So let's go ahead and do the following. I, from here, I can write uh, b plus c as negative a. Now, b plus c equals negative a means something, but how am I going to use that in my expression? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that expression AB plus AC plus BC and then now factor out the A here. So I'm going to get something like A times B plus C plus BC. Now the purpose of doing this to our expression that we're trying to prove is to take advantage of the fact that 
b plus c is equal to negative a. So I can go ahead and replace b plus c with negative a here, and that's going to give me negative a squared plus bc, or I can write it as bc minus a squared. So we get the following. ab plus ac plus bc can be written as bc minus a squared because a plus b plus c is equal to 0. Great. So if I'm trying to prove that ab plus ac plus bc is less than or equal to 0, it is basically equivalent to proving that bc minus ac, bc minus a squared is less than or equal to 0. So the question is, can I possibly prove this? And here's what I'm going to do for that. Since I know that b plus c is equal to negative a, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, square both sides of that expression. That's going to give me b squared plus c squared plus 2bc equals a squared. Now remember, I'm trying to show that bc minus a squared is less than or equal to 0. So is there any way I can get a bc minus a squared here on the left-hand side? And it's quite possible because I can go ahead and break this bc, 2bc down. 2bc or not 2bc. Okay, that didn't work well. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the a squared over here. So I'm going to subtract B squ a squared from both sides. Sorry about that. bc minus a squared. And everything else will be negated and put on the right-hand side. So I'm can, I can just put a minus sign here and write it as b squared plus bc plus c squared. But there's a negative sign in the front. Now remember, my goal is to try to show... I don't know why this is happening... My goal is to try to show that this is less than or equal to 0, and I got it on the left-hand side. So is it true that what's on the right-hand side is less than or equal to 0? And that is actually true because b squared plus bc plus c squared can be written as b squared plus... Okay, let's see how we can do this. One-fourth of bc... Uh, actually, no, that's not the case. I'm going to break down the c squared, not like that. So a b squared plus bc plus c squared over 4 plus 3c squared over 4. You might be questioning why I'm doing this. I'm trying to basically complete the square. Now this becomes b plus half of c squared plus uh, root 3c over 2 squared. Now this is sum of two squares, therefore this is always greater than or equal to 0, but we have the opposite of that. Therefore we can safely say that this expression right here is less than or equal to 0 if b, c are real numbers, but that our expression is equivalent to b, c minus a squared, which implies that b, c minus a squared is less than or equal to 0, and this basically proves our inequality, because if, remember, b, c minus a squared is basically uh, our expression here. So a, b, c minus a squared is the same thing as a, b plus a, c plus b, c, therefore this just proves our inequality. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.